This week's track battle is a grudge match between two Nürburgring lap record holders, Seat's new Leon Cooper 280 and Renault Sports Megan 265 Cup. As ever, we'll be looking for fun as well as an ultimate lap time, so let's see how these two ring rivals compare at Bedford Autodrome's West Circuit. Right, so we're in the Leon Cupra, and this is a really big surprise, this car. It impressed us hugely on our recent hot hatch extravaganza in uh, an issue or two ago of the magazine. And it's just kind of come from nowhere, really. I think Seat did have a reputation for good, fast, fun hot hatches, and then they kind of went off the boil. And then news of this filtered out that it had set a new front wheel drive lap record around the Nürburgring of under eight minutes and anything under eight minutes around that place is pretty impressive and whilst there's some debate about quite how close to production the lap record setting car is nevertheless that doesn't detract from a really super impressive car already on the on the track here it's nothing compared to Nürburgring but still it gives you a real sense of connection and grip and aggression but there's composure as well so there's some depth to what the car can do these initial laps are always where we're supposed to see how much fun the car is so if you chuck it at a corner <laughs> it's quite a lot of fun and that's maybe not what you'd expect from a from a VW Group car. They're normally very composed and effective, but inherently quite straight laced. This thing, it's got all that composure and depth of quality, but it really does like to be chucked around. So you could have a lot of fun in this car on a track day, and yet it would be great on the drive home, which is a really nice combination of qualities. The brakes feel great and strong and progressive. The chassis's got plenty of grip and you can feel it. You can feel it working quite hard. Ultimately, the ESC still kind of saves you from the most extreme inputs but it lets the car go a long way before it intervenes certainly on the quick corners and that's where the fun is Once more. okay so tempting though it is to muck around we now need to see how fast this Cooper will go. It feels strong. We're well over 100 miles an hour into this first corner. The DSG box gives you some nice quick shifts. Traction is really clean. It just finds drive and puts all its power and torque to the road. Very tidy for a front wheel drive car with just under 280 horsepower. Again, over 100 miles an hour, braking hard into this chicane. A little bit scruffy from me, but this is normally, this bottom hairpin is normally the bit that a front wheel drive car hates. But again, really chase the throttle and got full throttle before the corner exit there another big braking area again good traction now these are the fast corners it's got really good turning and lots of mid corner grip fast corners are where this car seems to excel what the clock says I don't know 
Making great use of its abundant power, torque and traction, the Leon puts in a very strong performance, stopping the clock at 1 minute 28 dead. The Megane will need to be on top form to beat this. From the current front wheel drive record holder at the Nürburgring to the former record holder at the Nürburgring in the Megane Renault Sport 265. This is quite an old school car, particularly compared to the, to the Leon. It's been around a while, but God, it's good. It's such a good car. I know we always bang on about this car at Evo, but it's with very good reason because everything about it is so well honed. Just the, the feel within the first few seconds of getting in the car, it just feels sharp as a tack. The damping is pretty aggressive. I mean, even on track, it starts hopping around a bit. Obviously, it's got a manual box. It's a little bit down on power compared to the, say, at probably 15 horsepower or so. Surprisingly, or at least to me, it's up on torque, about seven foot pounds, and there's very little in it, weight 10, 10, 15 kilos maybe. But in the way this drives, just <laughs> you can just throw it at corners and it's so aggressive and mobile in, in the way you can play with the rear end of the car it means you have to be on the ball when you do it but it opens up another dimension of handling and fun which is what we always try and bear in mind with these track battles as well as outright lap time. It just totally hooks you in this car in the same way as a 911 GT3 or an M3 CSL or any of those great driver's cars. It might be front wheel drive but it has the same heart and the same spirit as those great cars. No, you're not going to go tail sliding around every corner like a rear wheel drive car, but as front wheel drive cars go on track, this already still feels like the benchmark to me in terms of absolute handling, purity and dynamism, but it'll be really interesting to see what kind of a lap time it does compared to the Seat. I can't do that though, can it? Right, okay, focus, focus. Nice, clean, fast lap. We'll get the best from this began. Right, okay. Then cross the line. Hard braking into the hairpin. Brakes feel brilliant, actually. Stronger and sharper than the Sayat. Traction isn't quite as good, though, I would say. Up into fourth. Loves the direction changes though, and it really clings on through full throttling third, up into fourth, out onto the shortish straight. Again, hard braking, but it really likes to be worked hard, and it's still happy to change direction into this fiddly hairpin to second balance the power you can hear that wheel spin but it's still driving forwards another big braking area the front end is so good on this car just into four that is so nice you can just neutralise the car and a little bit of oversteer last corner very easy to overdo it across the line now the 265 cup has long been our front drive benchmark and this lap is a timely reminder why sharper and keener yet much more entertaining it's a natural on track performer beating the Leon by 7 tenths of a second with a great time of 1 minute 27.3 Contrary to Sayat's claimed ring record for the Leon, on the evidence of these laps, the Megane remains the front-wheel drive king. 
If you want to see more Evo track battles, make sure you subscribe to the channel.